Hi there! In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to fire a remote event from the server side to a single client, to a single player. Here in my workspace, you can see I have a part, which is the red wall here. And in my started GUI, I have a screen GUI, which contains a text label. And for my text label, you can see I have the visible property turned off. So the, the text label is not displayed. So basically what we want to do here is we have a ball here and there's going to be ma many players in the game and whoever touches the, this ball first is going to be the winner. And we're going to use the remote event to send a text message to the winner. All right, so now we're going to go to our replicate storage. We're going to add a remote event. And then we're going to go to our part, which is the ball. We're going to add a script. In our script, we're going to have to declare a touch event. So first we're going to declare our part, local part equals to script dot parent. Next we're going to say part dot touch colon connect to a function. And here we're passing in part B which is the part that is touching our red ball. Now let's check for humanoid. So we're going to say local humanoid. It's going to equals to part B dot parent. And then we're going to search for the humanoid. So we're going to say find first, find first child humanoid. if humanoid so if, if the, the part that is touching the ball is a, a humanoid then we want to get the player from the character because in order for us to do a server to client to a single client we need to know which player to send it to let's declare a variable local player equals to game dot players get player from character and our character is part b dot parent now that we got the player we can use the uh, remote event so we're gonna say game dot replicate storage dot remote event which is the one that we just created down here colon fire client so if you say fire all clients it's gonna send to all clients and you do not need to to uh, have a player but if you're gonna say fire client you're sending to a single client so you have to indicate which player is this remote event being fired to right and that's that's why we need to get the player here so here we're just gonna put player in here next we're gonna go to the local side in our started GUI and we're gonna add a script to the screen GUI a local script All right and in our local script we're gonna catch that remote event that is being fired from the server side so first let's declare a part local part and our part here is the screen GUI equals to script dot parent to catch the remote event we're gonna say game dot replicate storage dot remote event dot on client event colon connect to a function and inside our function, first we want to change the text of the text label to say you win. So we're going to say part dot text label. So our part is our screen GUI. So we're going to the text label and then we go to the text property of that text label. 
support dot text label dot text and we're gonna set this text to say you win and also remember when we start the uh, visible property of the text label is being turned off so you don't see the label right so now we need to turn on that property so we're gonna say part dot text label dot visible equals to true let's now play to test and there is the ball if I touch that ball I'm gonna win there it is you win let's make sure now we're gonna test with two players so I'm gonna go to my test menu here and just select local server here two players click on start this is gonna take a while to load there's gonna be three windows you're gonna have a server window which is this one right here and there's gonna be a, a, a window for each individual player because we're, we're testing with two players and here are my two windows you can see there are two players in the game and now whichever player touches that ball first is gonna be the winner ready here we go and this player here won because he touched the ball first this player on this side on the other hand did not win because he did not touch the ball one thing to notice here guys is when you fire the remote event you must pass the player so the system knows which player this remote event is going to and now if you want to add more parameters say if you want to send more parameters over to the local side you can just list them after this player for example I'm gonna say player player dot name so I'm passing over the player's name and on the local side you, you see I'm calling with two parameters here but on the local side I'm only gonna have one parameter going in so that is the player's name so here we can say the player's name dot dot concatenating with you win all right let's play and take a look I'm gonna go and touch the ball and there it is price counter puncher you win all right everyone that's how you use a server to client remote event in roblox